I wanted to share a uh, short testimony with you guys of using the Ouija board when I was a teenager and my experience with it. Um, <coughs> so basically, it started when I was about maybe 13 or 14 years old and um, my friends were over at my house and you know they mentioned you know hey let's let's play you know I don't remember exactly what they said but they were like you know they mentioned it like you know let's let's play with the Ouija board let's whatever and we were like oh well we don't have like a, a real you know Ouija board like for example I'm gonna show you guys this really shocked the heck out of me um, I'm gonna put a picture up right now I'll show you they're selling these at Toys R Us yeah um, Apparently they even have pink for girls. Um, this is really shocking to me, you know. But, um, so wrong. So wicked. Um, <coughs> the, we were like, we don't have a real Ouija board, you know. So, um, my friend, like, made, uh, this homemade Ouija board out of paper and, um, we were all sitting there. It was me and about um, three or four other of my friends, and um, you know we were ha we had our fingers on the thing, and you know like it was moving around, and of course we're all like, "Oh, you're doing it! No, you're doing it!" And eventually um, we were like lifted our fingers up off the paper thingy, you know, and it's still moving around by itself now like there's no fingers on it at all it's moving around by itself and at that point of course we're all freaking out you know oh my gosh what's you know what how is this happening and um, the fact of the matter guys is that is that you are talking directly to demons they're called familiar spirits they pretend it's just the same as a lot of these shows like uh, John Williams and Sylvia Brown they say they're going to contact your your deceased loved ones. They are talking to familiar spirits. Now these are uh, uh, demons that pretend that they are people who have passed on. For example, I was obsessed with uh, Kurt Cobain at that period um, in my life, um, the singer from Nirvana. And doesn't it just so happen that when I asked who this who this to let's keep it real familiar spirit was they told me they were Kurt Cobain okay um, so the fact of the matter is you're talking to demons and when you do this it creates an actual open doorway to where they can come into your life and wreak havoc for example I started um, I had never had a problem with this before I started cutting myself self mutilation suicidal tendencies after that I had never had these things happen before I just want to mention this real quick um, if you or someone you know is having issues with self-mutilation um, or any type of suicidal tendencies or thoughts that is a huge indicator of demonic presence demonic manifestation um, go read mark 5 5 it talks about a man who um, Jesus casted many demons out of. And um, this man would sit amongst the tombs and cut himself with the rocks. Okay? He was severely demon possessed, and this is a huge indicator that um, you, you should seek deliverance. Okay? But these, it, when, you, when you allow one demon into your life, which the only way you allow it, the way you allow it is by coming into agreement. All you have to do is walk in agreement with this, with this train, whatever this thing is. Okay? There's several different ways you can allow demons into your life. But all you have to do is come walk alongside and just start walking in agreement with this thing. And um, and as long as you're in agreement with it, it can come right in. Okay? Um, back to the back to the subject matter though after that I directly that night I was actually um, I actually had a demon attack me in bed and um, you know I don't care if you guys want to sit there and, and laugh and say oh 
I'm, I'm making things up, whatever. I'm telling you right now, okay, that same night when I was playing with that Ouija board, when I went to bed, I had something come while I was sleeping. Okay, I was in a dead sleep. I was sleeping flat on my back on the bed, okay? Flat on my back. I was laying there sleeping. And out of nowhere, I had something, I could feel it, grab me by the shoulders, sitting straight up in bed, okay? So I went from laying flat to I was like sitting up straight up in bed, not by my own will. Something grabbed me and pulled me up and start shaking the heck out of me, like like back and forth, like shaking the crap out of me, like really like back and forth, just shaking the crap out of me. And um, I don't even know how at that point. I was sitting there shocked and I'm, I don't even know how I knew how to say this, but I'm like, I'm just like freaked out. Like, what is this? And I just scream out, Jesus. I don't even, okay, I don't know. I, I just screamed it out. And when I screamed out his name, it stopped instantly. Instantly it stopped. And I'm in whatever it was left or whatever because it just, it stopped instantly. Um, now I know, of course, there's power just in the name of Jesus, you know. Demons flee at the name of Jesus. I didn't know that then, and I don't even know how I knew how to say that. But, anyways, um, if you guys have already actually dabbled in these things, you really need to pray and ask God to forgive you, to cleanse you, and to close all open doorways in Jesus' name. basically I just wanted to make this video to warn you guys to warn everyone that you this is not just something you do for fun for entertainment that you think is <coughs> <coughs> this isn't this isn't something that you know is just harmless fun you know this is uh, you're really playing with demons I'm just telling you guys, you think you're talking to dead spirits and whatever, or, or whatever you think that is not, you know, these are, these are evil spirits and they hate you. And, um, if you allow even one of them into your life, you know, uh, there's going to be more than one, you know, just like cockroaches, you know, if you create that little opening, that little crack in your, in your, in your spirit, you know, if you create that little opening you're going to have a whole multitude of them run in. You know? I know a lot of you won't understand what I'm talking about. You, you know, you're not going to understand, but... Okay? Even people who claim that... Even people who claim that, you know, they're skeptical or they don't believe in the spiritual realm, even you guys have seen, you know, there's exorcisms. There's such thing as exorcisms. Matter of fact, it's one of the most popular... Um, movie choices right now for a lot of you guys it's horror movies and a lot of these things are about demon possession and all these things those are not just fake you guys have seen the catholic church whatever they have exorcisms i mean these things are real i'm just i'm just telling you it's for real and you should take these things seriously you know because <laughs> You don't want to allow these things into your life. Trust me. Anyhow, I just wanted to warn you guys. I love you all, and uh, God bless.